Today on Capitol Hill, the focus was on video games amid complaints that some of them promote the very thing that most people are trying to prevent. Video game manufacturers today issued something of a preemptive strike aimed at keeping violent and sexual images away from kids. NBC's John Cochran now. The makers of some video games promote them as a way that guys can show how tough they are. But today the game makers themselves blinked. Under pressure from an angry Congress and angrier parents, game makers offered a new rating system. GA for general audiences, all ages. MA-13, okay for teens, but not younger kids. And MA-17 for 17-year-olds and older. The timing of the peace offering was no accident. Just an hour later, the Senate began hearings on new legislation to prevent violent games from reaching kids. Senators were especially appalled by a game where a scantily clad woman is tortured. It is a sick, disgusting video game, in my judgment. It's an effort to trap and kill women. Shame on people that produce that trash. It's child abuse, in my judgment. The maker of the game says players can protect the victimized woman by winning the game. Your job as the player is to identify the villains and to trap them. Game makers admit ratings won't work unless stores and arcades enforce the new rules. We can sit here all day and talk about morals, but the reality of the business world out there, and unfortunately in many cases, is driven by economics. Some makers say playing games with simulated violence may actually help some teenagers who can release pent-up feelings, a theory other witnesses disputed. How would you like to have a teenage daughter go out on a date with someone who's just watched or played three hours of that game? Not much, said the senators, who vowed to press ahead with tough legislation unless the $6 billion a year video game industry cleans up its act soon. John Cochran, NBC News, Washington.